Semantic Protection Engine provides content scanning and URL filtering capabilities for both files and URLs regardless of its platform. Semantic Protection Engine is available in two variants. Semantic Protection Engine for Cloud Services and Semantic Protection Engine for Network Attacks Storage. Organizations today are worried about serious security threats to their environment because of the multitude of internet data traffic. Internet traffic contains spyware, malware, worms, trojans and viruses. Besides compromising the data security of the organization, it also chokes the available bandwidth. Data traffic is highly vulnerable before storing, when it is stored and after storing, that is, when it moves out of the storage. A clean pipe ensures that data traffic at these three points is free of any threats, vulnerabilities and anomalies. Semantic Protection Engine, with its capabilities and technologies, ensures a clean pipe security. SPE lets you achieve the following key business objectives. Protects data when it is uploaded and downloaded. Filters content for the enterprise users based on the business requirement. Protects business data when it is stored or archived. Ensures that malicious attachments and MIME messages with infections embedded in the body do not infect your environment through emails. Scans and protects the data stored in AWS S3 buckets. These are some of the key capabilities of Semantic Protection Engine. File and APK reputation, advanced machine learning, URL reputation based on Semantic DeepSight, URL and email filtering, high performance engine, syslog support, graphical user interface as well as a command line interface to manage SPE operations. Semantic Protection Engine can be configured to work over ICAP protocol. Any device or application with inbuilt ICAP support can communicate with Semantic Protection Engine. C++ Java and .NET SDK kits are shipped with the product that can be used to integrate with SPE. Semantic Protection Engine integrates with NetApp by using an RPC-based NetApp-defined interface. You may want to check out these resources for more information. Thank you for watching.